Joel and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some unbelievable challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in the mixer. First up are Danielle and Michaelia from London. Then Lucas and Mark from Peterborough. And Sophie B and Morgan from Tamworth. And finally, Sophie O and Tori from Camberley. We've seen the best friends, but what do they sound like? My name's Danielle. My name's Michaelia. And we're the bestest friends. I'm 12. And I'm 10. We're best friends because her mum and my mum used to go to school together, so we know each other. Since we were like babies. Babies. Michaelia, when I was in my mum's tummy, she used to say hello to me and she used to tell me stories. And through the week, we do netball together and we've done street dance and kayaking. We're going to win because we're confident. Hi, this is my best friend Mark. And this is my best friend Lucas. We've come here today for Keep Your Enemies Close. And yeah, we think we're going to win. Well, we've known each other since two, but then uh, primary school, Lucas moved. We managed to keep in touch for nine years. I don't think anyone else on this show here today has done that. Nine, nine years. years! Count them. We're, we're going to win because we've got, got the best team spirit. Hi, my name is Morgan and I'm 12 years old. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm 12 years old. And we're from Tamworth. Me and Sophie love hanging out together. We've been best friends for eight years. I like Morgan because she's funny, she never shuts up and she's really caring. Sophie has some really, really bad habits. She clicks her fingers and bites her nails. She thinks she's shy but she never, ever shuts up. Morgan also clicks her fingers and she can't blame me for biting my nails because she does it too. We do netball together and we hang around on weekends at the shops. We always have a laugh at school and I think that's why we're best friends. We're doing it for Tamworth. Hi, this is my best friend Sophie, she's 12 years old. Hi, this is Tori, my best friend, she's 12 and I've known her for a year and a half. And the main thing we like to do together is rounders, netball, football and many other things, especially shopping. We always sleep around each other's houses and do everything together. Sophie's main habits are being very leery. When I go around her house she does get quite a lot of strops on. Tori's bad habit is probably ignoring people. Whoops. <laughs> well, they seem like a top-notch bunch, but all too soon they're going to be torn apart by the mixer. More about that later. It's now time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here in the Best Friends Challenge, if they win, they'll not only gain a massive psychological advantage, they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. Now, this can be the difference between winning and losing if any of the pairs of best friends make it to the final. But who will grab the hand of friendship? Let's find out as we play this. Tube Strike. These are massive tubes powered by best friend's legs. He'll be able to see just how well the best friends work together as they've got to navigate across some pretty bumpy terrain. They'll start in one corner, they'll then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and strike down their team-coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor can they then roll back into the middle, flip up their tube once more and try and burst the one and only big red winning balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory, plus the hand of friendship. Keep your friends close. These best friends are on course for a collision. Everybody is blocking everybody. It's gridlock. Silver's Mark and Lucas escape from the confusion and they've got their silver target down. Blues, Daniela Mikelia and Pink, Sophia and Tori create a blockade. Can they reach the target? Silver team, Mark and Lucas. Whoa! Let's take a look at that again if I survive. Brilliant control of their tube and brilliant tube striking. 
won this. This is the hand of friendship, okay? So you can hold that. That could be the difference between winning and losing. First, let's discuss your game tactics. Did you have any? Well, we were first going to try and just run straight across. But then we thought, when we crashed, we thought, well, we might as well topple it. So when we get there, we're always going to hit it down, no matter what. It's very impressive. So this thing here, the hand of friendship, it's important, because if you make it to the final, it can mean winning. Do you think you can make it all the way? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, whether Lucas and Mark make it all the way remains to be seen, because very soon the best friends will be playing against each other. But the rules of keep your enemies close are simple. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So, four pairs become three, then three become two until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So, let's crank it up. The mischievous mixer spins, but who will it pair with who? The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Sophio and Mykelia. And Daniela Lucas and Mark and Sophie B. Finally, Morgan and Tori. We'll start with Mykelia and Sophie. Now, if Sophie O could be a celebrity for the day, it would be Victoria Beckham. So, so you can see David Beckham every day. Hello, I'm David Beckham. That's my impression of David Beckham. Mykelia would like to be Katy Perry because of the way she dresses. Well, these guys could be a design made in heaven. And then we've got Danielle and Lucas. Danielle rates herself a paltry, disappointing one out of ten for problem solving. But Lucas gives himself seven out of ten for problem solving. And out of twenty, that only gives them eight out of twenty. Uh-oh, could be a problem there. Then we've got Mark and Sophie B. Mark reckons girls can talk behind people's backs. Ooh. Sophie reckons boys think they're the best at everything. We don't think, we just know, all right? I'm not going to get involved in that. Uh-oh, these two could be uh, arguing instead of winning. Finally, there's Morgan and Tori. Now, Morgan's superpower would be the power of invisibility, whereas Tori's power would be the ability to see through things. Well, will she be able to see her way through to a victory? As one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. The whack -a -bolt. The aim is for the frenemies to thwack their frenemy-coloured panels. For example, Danielle and Lucas, you have a silver catapult. Therefore, you'll be trying to thwack the silver-coloured panels. The way you thwack them is by using these massive catapults loaded with tennis balls. The panels are quite close, so you need to work together in order to get that accuracy. The last pair of frenemies to thwack all their frenemy-coloured panels will be eliminated. I bid you good luck. Keep your enemies close! The colour of the platforms match the colour of the panels the frenemies are aiming at. Danielle and Lucas on the silver platform hit a silver panel. Textbook. That's oh, too good. Second silver down. Good shooting, Silvers. Mark and Sophie B hit their first pink. Quick. Daniela and Lucas have thwacked all three silvers they're through. Oh, and a purple got hit too. That's a second pink from Mark and Sophie B. Oh, the scene. Mark and Sophie B, you're thwacked. And the final pink is down. Whoa, second purple for Sophie O and Mykelia. They're catching up, just purple and blue panels left standing. Blue hit, but not broken. Good shot, you're done! Sophie O and Mykelia smash the final purple. Yes! OK, now, guys, it is the blame game. Whose fault was it? Hers. Uh, Tori's. OK, no. <laughs> OK, let's break it down here. Tori, why was it Morgan's fault? Um, because she didn't get the balls fast enough. OK, you didn't get the power there. Morgan, why was it Tori's fault? Well, 
She wasn't hitting any of them and I least hit one. For the moment, you're headed to lockdown. Morgan, in the end, the lack of power meant you got eliminated. It's a lights out and lockdown. So, Tori, same applies. He won't see you in the final unless your best friend can win you back. For the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. Six players remain. I think it's about time we mixed it up. Which frenemies we paired together now? The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Mark and Mykelia. And the next pair out is Danielle and Sophie B. And finally, the last pair of friends out of the mixer is Sophie O and Lucas. We start with Mark and Mykelia. Now, Mark is all about the physical challenges. It's what he thrives on. Whereas Mykelia thrives on mental challenges. But they could be a good little mixture. Mind over brawn. I'm more brawn. Then we've got Sophie B and Danielle. Now, if Danielle could be a celebrity for the day, it would be Hannah Montana. So you could have a perfect mix of celebrity life and normal life, whereas Sophie B would be Britney Spears. Well, let's hope their relationship isn't toxic. Thank you. Then we've got Sophie O and Lucas. Now, Sophie O reckons she's funny, caring and helpful. Lucas is funny, caring and loud. They're practically the same person, except for one's helpful and one's loud. Well, which one of these frenemies will make it through to the next round? There's only one way to find out as we play this. Puzzle panic. If the frenemies get puzzled and panic, well, they could be eliminated. All they've got to do is complete this hand puzzle. But they'll be doing it on these skates and their bottoms are not allowed to leave the skates. The last pair of frenemies to complete the puzzle will be eliminated. Good luck, frenemies, and remember to keep your enemies close! The hand design is on both sides of the puzzle pieces, but in different colours. Confusing, possibly. Sensational start for Mark and Mykelia. Two in place, just two to go. Look at this teamwork. Final piece has been slotted in already. We've just got to jiggle them around a bit. Got it. Hold on, no. It's done. It's done. It's done. Congratulations to Mark and Mykelia. They have completed it. That was so quick. This one is. Sophie B and Danielle have that That's piece the wrong way round, while Lucas and Sophie O have only slotted in one piece and then struggling with that huge one. The sun goes on the side. Put it on, put it on. on the right, Sophie B and Danielle are confused. They need solutions and quick. Come on, quickly, quickly. Lucas and Sophie O look close. They look really close. Surely. Just doesn't fit. Make it It's in. It's so close. OK, guys, that's it. Well, congratulations. Yay. Sophie and Lucas have done it. But Sophie B and Danielle, let's have a look at where it went wrong. The puzzle piece being the wrong way up scuppered them. On the edge. Whose fault was it? Sophie's. <laughs> wow, straight to Sophie there. Why? What, what, what does she do, Danielle? Because I was telling her um, which bit to put it in. She kept on putting it the wrong way. She weren't telling me clear enough where to put it, so I didn't know. Communication was the problem. Well, this means that, unfortunately, you have been eliminated permanently. How do you feel about that? Disappointed. But, Danielle, you live to fight another day. For the moment, though, we're headed to lockdown. OK, Danielle, you were well and truly puzzled there, weren't you? Unfortunately, it's lights out and lockdown. <laughs> Sophie B, you have been eliminated, and so has Morgan. Unfortunately for both of you, it's permanent lights out and permanent lockdown. So, there's only four players remaining. Let's mix it up. The tension builds as the mixer spins again.
The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Lucas and Mykelia. And they'll be facing Sophie and Mark. We'll start with Lucas and Mykelia. Lucas is scared of dogs, but not sausage dogs. Mykelia is scared of spiders. Now, I've uh, recently seen a sausage spider which has been hanging outside. I hope that doesn't come in and ruin the game for them. Then we've got Sophie and Mark. Sophie loves art. It's one of her favourite subjects at school. But Mark's, well, that's one of his least favourite subjects at school. Well, let's hope they get the next challenge down to a fine art as we play this. Pump action. Here, the frenemies will have to pump as fast and as furiously as they can using these pumps, which supply air to these inflatable hands. Once enough air is in the hand, it then explodes. And the frenemies will then have to take off this airlock and apply it to the next hand until all four hands have exploded. And the last pair of frenemies to do so will be eliminated. Now, for Lucas and for Mark, you're already in the final. You're guaranteed a place there. But for Mykelia and for Sophie, your best friends in lockdown are relying on you. I bid you good luck. And remember to keep your enemies close. It's all about being fast, fast pumping and fast changeovers. Oh, Lucas and Mykelia are behind. They needed that pop. Sophie, Owen, Mark pumping the second hand already. It's crucial. It's close now. Sophie, Owen, Mark pop their second. There goes Lucas and Mykelia second. The best friends are glued to the action. Sophie and Mark are on their last hand. Up. So close, it's nearly there. Up. Down. Up. Congratulations, uh -oh. Mark and Sophie. But let's have a look at that action again. The turning point, that crucial second hand. Mykelia. What guys, what happened? Lucas, what happened? Well, I think it was a bit my fault. Um, not really very strong, and I don't think I could pump it hard enough. Let's have a little. Give me a little high five. Let's have a feel. Ow! That you were, you were a strong man, is it? But there was a lack of communication, was there? I don't think we would just go beating in the same time. But you know, you did well to get to the semi-finals. But you two, what was your secret to your success? We were communicating loads and we were pumping at the same time. So Lucas, come and join Mark over here. And Sophie, you've also won back your best friend, which means it's time to find out who really are the best of friends. The best friends have been reunited. Now, Sophie and Tori, what's it like to be back together? Amazing. Amazing. Can you continue the winning that you've started? Hopefully. Definitely. Now, Lucas and Mark, you've started today very well by winning this Hand of Friendship. Let's have a look at that victorious moment one more time. <laughs> that was a good moment. You've been winning pretty much ever since. Yeah. yeah Do you think you've still got it? In yeah. You? Why? Like if we lose here from how well we've been doing so far, I'm going to be really gutted. Well, you have got an advantage, this bad boy right here, and we'll find out what it does as we play this. The final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was P and the category was job or profession, you could have professor or pilot. There are loads of different answers that you could have. You'll have five seconds to give me two correct answers. When time's up, the sound you'll hear is this. Two correct answers will send your enemies along that track, closer to those shoots up there. And those shoots are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. You really want to lag behind the clag. But if you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. Now, your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there. Now, Mark and Lucas, you won the hand of friendship. Now, that you can use when you don't think you know the answer to a question. But you have to say the words hand of friendship 
within the five seconds. I think it's about time we let battle commence. Mark and Lucas, you go first. Are you ready? Your letter is... P, category, girl's name. Time starts now. Philippa. Paula. Philippa and Paula, that's two correct answers. Sophie and Tori, you're one hand down, and only five away from the clag. Are you ready? Your letter is... E, category, pop star or band. Time starts now. There was a lot of whispering, but no answers. You could have had Eminem, Enrique Iglesias, Elton John, but you didn't have anything, which means you're headed close. It's a good start for you, Mark and Lucas. Are you ready for your next letter? Your letter is... R, category, food or drink. Time starts now. Run the beans. Rice! Lucas, you gave me rice, but it was just outside the buzzer, which means good for you girls, but for Mark and Lucas, you're moving along that track. OK, Sophie, Tori, are you ready? Yes. Your letter is... L. Category, country. Time starts now. No, that's not a country. OK, you failed again to give me two correct answers. You could have had Luxembourg or Lebanon, but you didn't give me anything. You just whispered. Unlucky. OK, so... Mark and Lucas, are you ready? Your letter is... L, category, pop star or band. Time starts now. Hand of friendship. You've used the hand of friendship. Well played. That is as good as a correct answer, which means girls move along the track. You could have had Lil Wayne, Lily Allen, See, now, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. So, <laughs> Sophie and Tori, you really need to get your act together now. You're literally two hands away from the clag barrier. Are you ready? Your letter is... F, category, girl's name. Time starts now. Fiona and Francis. Fiona and Francis, good. Francis is actually a unisex name, which could work for both. Well done, which means Mark and Lucas, you're heading closer, and now you're without the hand of friendship. This could go to the wire. Are you ready? Your letter is... A. Category. Country. Time starts now. Argentina. And... Um, Angola. Antigua. Antigua. Well, you gave me three. Argentina, Angola and Antigua. Which means, Sophie and Tori, you're one more hand down. OK, you're literally flirting with danger here. If you get this wrong, you're going... No, you're not jumping out, you're going smashing through the clag barrier. Are you ready? You need to get this right. Your letter is... S. Category. Food or drink. Time starts now. Salami and soup. Salami and soup. You live to fight another day. This is tense now, guys. This is getting close. OK. Mark and Lucas, if you get this right, the girls go smashing through the clag barrier. It all hangs on this. Are you ready? Your letter is... K. Category. British town and city. Your time starts... Kent. Now. Kettering and Kent. <laughs> Kent's a county, which means you only gave me one correct answer. Kettering was good, which means, girls, you must get this right, otherwise you're going in. Here we go. Your letter is... P, category, British town and city. Time starts now. Portsmouth. 
Portuguese. <laughs> no, no, that's kind of food. <laughs> Plymouth. Right at the end, you've managed to, to, to get that, which means we've gone to a tie break. It's time to bring on the buzzers. Tie break. OK, best friends, the same rules apply. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. But I only need one correct answer. And if you don't give me a correct answer immediately, I'll hand it over to your enemies. Are you ready? The letter is... N. Category. Sport. Netball. Oh, no. Silvers. Netball. Netball. That's correct, which means <laughs> that Sophie and Tori go smashing <laughs> through the clad barrier. Right, boys, do you have anything to say to Sophie and Tori as they suffer the embarrassment of getting clagged? Bon voyage, girls. Whatever. All right, send them in. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sophie, Tori, was it actually more fun? <laughs> Are you enjoying it in there? Shall we have a look at that one more time? Bisham! Basham! Basham! Congratulations, Lucas and Mark. You really have proven you are the best of friends. What has been your highlight? Well, we really like the, um, the tube one. Oh, tube yeah. strike. Yeah. yeah. Where we were going um, together as a team, because that showed how good friends we are. And how well we worked together. It was just so, so much fun, really. Did you ever think, uh-oh, we might not win this. Not at all. Oh, I, I thought at the end there, yeah. uh, when, oh. <laughs> when we had the buzzers out and the end came up, I was... That was a yeah, tense, tense true. moment. Yeah, yeah. But you managed to sneak it through, and I think you're well-deserving of our solid silver, keep your enemies close medallions. A right and a left make a winning pair. It's one for you, Lucas, and one for you, Mark. And you really are the best of friends. Thanks. So remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of time and space. Last night, all my dreams came true. Where do you want to start? It begins. Because this is what I do every time, every day, every second. This. There's one thing you never put in a trap if you're smart. If you have any plans about seeing tomorrow, there's one thing you never, ever put in a trap. Doctor Who, the journey begins next Saturday at 6.20 on BBC One. Welcome to the British Museum. You must face wondrous challenges. And uncover ancient mysteries. To become guardians of the museum. Fail. And you shall never leave. Relic, Guardians of the Museum, Thursdays at 4.35, CBBC on BBC One.